Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Today we're going to discover the lovely district of Montmartre. Walking through its winding streets, you'll get the feeling that you're actually in a bohemian village on a hill way outside of Paris. But don't let that feeling fool you. Montmartre is tucked away in the north of the city just above Les Grands Boulevards and the Opéra. It was one of the last towns to be amalgamated into the 19th century Paris, allowing it to retain a village-like atmosphere. Since then, its gently rolling fields have been transformed into Paris's lovely bohemian center. Today, the village feel and the city influence live in harmony, making Montmartre one of the coolest and most curious districts of the city. This is the second of our two-part series dedicated to this fantastic neighborhood in Paris. If you haven't yet watched the first part, you can find it on our YouTube channel. If you're looking for art, the Place de Terre is an art hotspot. Also, places where famous artists live can be found scattered on the hill. Keep a lookout for plaques on some of the buildings and you may come across 54 Rue Le Pic, where Vincent van Gogh lived with his brother on the second floor. Or 49 Rue Gabriel, where Pablo Picasso lived when he first came to Paris. If you think you might want to take home some art, you can browse different artists' works in the Carré d'Artiste, a sort of art market at 16 Rue Yvonne Le Tac. A must stop for any art lover is the Bateau Lavoir in Place Emile Gourdeau. It was converted into art studios in the 1880s. Artists such as Picasso, Braque, and Matisse painted in these very studios. In fact, it was here where Pablo Picasso painted his first Cubist painting, Les Demoiselles d'Avignon. If you'd like to better experience how artists of the past lived in Montmartre, you should definitely skip the hotel and book one of the many vacation rentals or longer-term furnished apartments that New York Habitat has to offer in the area. There's no better way to live an authentic Parisian experience. Montmartre still remains artsy and bohemian today, evident in the many fashionable and eccentric boutiques. A stroll along Rue Durantin provides great window shopping if you're interested in up-and-coming designers. Rue Vieuxville also has a cluster of cool shops, including the design shop Spree at number 16. If you're staying in an apartment in Montmartre, you're lucky to have some of the city's finest food shops right at your doorstep. You'll find fresh farm cheese, seasonal fruits and vegetables, and some amazing bakeries on several market streets in Montmartre. If you're staying near Rue des Abbesses, don't miss the Grenier à Pain at 38 Rue des Abbesses, winner of the prestigious Best Baguette in Paris contest. You'll also find a variety of authentic French restaurants and trendy cafes and bars in Montmartre. Here are some of my favorites. La Mascotte on the Rue des Abbesses. This is the spot for seafood lovers and the restaurant is a favorite of the locals. Always a good sign. Le Templier on the Rue des Abbesses. A perfect spot for lunch, this cozy cafe has friendly service and a great variety of dishes to suit all palates. Le Miroir on the Rue des Martyrs. For real food lovers, try the highly recommended miroir, serving up original dishes in truly Parisian bistro ambiance. Au Grand de Folie on the Rue de la Vieuxville. On the tiny street just behind the Metro Abbesse, you can find one of the city's oldest vegetarian restaurants. L'été en Pente Douce on the Rue Muller, a reasonably priced restaurant with something to please every appetite. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our tour of Montmartre. And of course, if I've missed any of your favorite corners of this little neighborhood, make sure you leave a message in the comments section below. Be sure to check out part one of our two-part series on Montmartre. In part one, we'll take you to the Sacré-Cœur, the Moulin Rouge, and other cabaret hotspots. We'll also give you some tips on nightlife in Montmartre.
If you're planning a trip to Paris, do yourself a favor. Skip the boring hotel room and rent a furnished apartment through New York Habitat. Visit our website at nyhabitat.com. You're just a few clicks away from living like a real Montmartre. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat, and I certainly hope to see you soon in the City of Light.